hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is so nice to finally be back in this space so just like i promised you guys in my last video i'm sharing vlogs about my nyc experience i don't know about most people though but for me nyc camp was the most scary thing that i ever had to look forward to when i was younger whenever i think about the fact that one day i'm actually going to have to go for camp my heart will always keep a bit so i'm just so happy that i'm finally able to put that aspect of my life behind me i'm not even going to lie my nyc camp experience was one of a kind and so it's not even possible for me to compile all of my camp experiences into one vlog so after this video expect a part two this one pretty much covers my first week and the other one would cover my last days. So this one just has to do with my registration and well, how I settled in in camp fully. So guys, I got opportune to serve in the famous Isaying camp of Oyo State. If you didn't know, after Lagos State, Isaying camp of Oyo State is the most fun and interesting camp you can ever be posted to. So if on your call up data you see Oyo State, just count yourself very lucky because definitely you'll be having a very, very, very good time in camp. So I guess you could say that my camp experience wasn't as stressful and horrible as I thought it would be because I got to serve in a really good place. So when I've arrived in camp and well, these people are here searching our bags. As you can see, there are camp officials everywhere checking to make sure you don't bring any contrabands such as weapons, electrical appliances, etc. So what they normally do is they confiscate them temporarily and then hand them over to you when you're leaving camp so you don't have to worry so after that we quickly moved ahead why am i saying you don't have to worry if you brought weapons please don't go back and collect it nobody's going to give you your weapons back but let's say you brought things like irons and maybe your laptop that you felt you would be able to use in camp they would confiscate them for a while and then give them back to you while you're leaving camp so after that we quickly moved ahead to the pavilion where we had our orientation this is like the most important thing you have to do during your registration this was where we were briefed about our camp routine um what do they normally call this stuff our camp itinerary for the whole of the three weeks that will be there and this was where we've been taught taught about the camp rules and regulations the do's and don'ts and basically what to expect for during our entire stay in camp so uh well at this point we're done with our orientation and we had to stay put to get tested for covid which as you know is very 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 important and you'd have to stay put for a long while before it gets to your turn and at this point i was extremely tired and well you guessed it right i was hungry and i had my first meal in camp and guys the reason i'm videoing this meal isn't just because well i wanted to show you people but because this food was the bomb like it was extremely nice and at that point i knew that well hmm, like this camp life won't be that bad sha, if there are seven foods that are like this <laughs> so well yeah so like i said we had to wait so for hours because to add salt to the injury our camp officials decided that when it was almost getting to my turn that's when they decided they wanted to go for on break look at the woman when she was announcing it the cat she was one that came to announce that they had to go on break and not even like okay 10 15 minutes break these people low-key went for break for two hours i almost killed somebody <laughs> hey god like i got to camp around 11 and i think i got tested for covid around four so i had to wait for over four hours i had to sit down for over four hours doing nothing when you shall bless god so a quick tip guys before you go for camp please treat yourself of any sicknesses illnesses ailments such as malaria typhoid please just do so because when you come and take your covid test even if you have like scanty malaria your test is going to come out positive that's how it works here 
so there are so many persons that their test came out positive not because they actually had covid but just because they had untreated malaria or typhoid fever so guys treat yourself properly before coming to camp to avoid any inconveniences so at this point i was already done taking my test i'm so sorry i couldn't video i couldn't make a video while taking my covid test because we all the officials weren't so friendly and i guess they were tired and stressed at that point so means that i didn't want to stress myself so at this point we're done with our covid test and um what are we even doing here okay this was where we had to register to get hostels and to get our kids another stress like see let me just warn you guys when you're coming for camp just expect that this will just be going fast 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 prepared to be prepared to be stressed prepared to be fixed just prepared to be tired because see i got to camp like i said around 11 i finished my registration around 7 p.m do you get so well be prepared <laughs> so you guys heard that big old good for the next three weeks that sound will be the most annoying and irritating thing you would ever hear we had to come out for our morning devotion and morning drills which usually starts by 4 50 a.m like ah which means that me this baby girl here that is used to baby girl lifestyle had to be waking up by 3 30 guys i had to wake up by 3 30 every single day for three weeks trust me it was not fun at all and i know most of you will be asking uh -uh, if you have to leave by 4 50 then why would you wake up by 3 30 how long does it take for you to get ready okay let me tell you something you are living in a hostel you get a public hostel filled with hundreds of people and i think in my hostel we're like hundreds and we had just like four flowing taps so if you don't wake up on time <laughs> you're not going to be able to fetch water on time you won't be able to bathe on time and trust me everywhere is crowded very limited bathroom so basically you get the gist you don't wake up early you won't be able to get ready on time so you have to wake up by 3 30 and get ready by because by 4 50 you are out because morning devotion starts exactly by 5 a.m yeah, I was just trying to console myself for oh, I was just uh, singing and vibing to the song that they were playing. <sighs> me thinking that okay as per its first day they probably allow us sleep in you know we're just coming now we just finished our registration i had to we had to go to bed really late and they are now saying that like i was even thinking that they would even say okay you know we'll start the next day you guys should just use this day to relax to settle in but mm -mm, so jasmine to hear that one know like everybody had to it was just as if they thought this was this is how we used to live in our houses like no 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 warnings nothing we just started like this uh. so anyhow shall we had to i had to come out and look for my platoon because you have to stand according to your platoon and that wasn't the best platoon ever ever <laughs> platoon nine god like being in that platoon made my camp stay really interesting and enjoyable like i was not even feeling with all the stress and everything i was not even feeling anything because i was in the best platoon so well as you can see our morning drills are over it usually starts by 5 and ends by 7 30 so by 7 30 you're allowed to leave and go have breakfast yeah, so I don't use the doll, I don't use the doll. <laughs> so this was my first breakfast. This was the first breakfast I had in camp. White rice, beans, and fried fish. Mm, and everybody there was complaining that the food was too peppery. I'd, and I could not even feel anything. Like I even had to zoom the food for people to be seen. Everybody, everybody was saying they could not eat their food though. But me as a badu that I ate my food flawlessly. Like... You know, I had to go and show myself. <laughs> so, after that, okay, this is how the camp routine is. 5 to 7.30, devotion and morning drill. Then after that, you go for your breakfast from 7.30 to 9. Then after that, you would come back to the pavilion where you would have lecture. Can you guess? From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Like, how? How? That's five hours. Like, so anyways... 
These were some amazing, amazing people that I met in camp. These girls, these beautiful girls I have seen were my roommates in camp and it made the camp stay for me, you know, bearable, you understand? This very this girl that you're seeing there, this Wendy, anytime I want to take pictures, she's like always there, always in the mood and stuff like that. So she was basically a vibe. If you know me very well, I'm a picture freak. If you don't like snapping pictures, you're going to find camp very boring because it's one of the few things that's just going to like, you know, keep it going. Because you know that you are capturing memories and stuff like that. So in camp, we normally have the morning and evening drill. So after the first morning drill, drill by 5 a.m. to 7.30, and after all the itinerary, after doing every other thing during the day, we'd have to come back again by 4 till 7, till 6.30 for the evening drill. Then after that, you're allowed to have dinner, then come back later for social activity. So you guys meet my bunky. This is my bunk mate here in there. Oh my god, I miss her already. After a long and stressful day, by 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., we have our social activities, which is like the only time we're allowed to actually have fun and enjoy ourselves without soldiers on our neck or telling us if you are running, if you are sitting down, you are wrong. If you're not running, you are wrong. <laughs> if you've gone for camp, then you know what I'm saying. Like, there is no peace. If you are supposed to be running and yet you are sitting down or you are walking, you are wrong. And trust the soldiers to not allow you to have peace. So guys, 8 to 10 p.m. It is the night. It is a time where you are allowed to have fun and catch crews. Like very, 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 very interesting, guys. So basically, this is how our social night usually is. We normally gather, we dance, we play music, we chat, we do a lot of things. Although guys, towards, at the beginning, I didn't really enjoy social activities because it looked like a... Like you know when you go to a party that is being MC, like you are being told what to do. You know like children parties where the DJ will be the one, sorry, the MC will be the one telling you, yeah, stand up, yeah, sit down, yeah, let's pray, yeah, let's do this. That was how it was. But as time went on, it was as if we reclaimed our social nights by ourselves. Basically, we could co we could control how we wanted our social night to be, and that was when the fun began. <laughs> After social activities by 10 p.m., you are expected, oh sorry, you must be back in your hostels and it would be time out in a couple of minutes after that. And you are expected to be in bed. I will come out from social nights now, I was still, everybody's blood is usually very, very hot. And guys, I was in the razest, like my room, my roommates were very, 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 very ras. So let me just let you guys see for yourselves. <laughs> What's your noise all about? I want to know what the noise is all about. What's the noise all about in this room? What's the noise all about? I want to go to the Yes, so not one night passes that our matron would come to complain about our noise or soldiers won't come to punish us <laughs> but it was all worth it because i had the best roommates ever because even after the punishment one would think that okay these people they would have had sense they would change but for where the next night we move <laughs> hi you guys meet bumio one of my friends from my platoon you see that green stuff she's putting on well she belongs to a group of people in camp called vanguard they make sure that people are 
always on face masks and are observing the COVID-19 protocols always. And with her is Ite, another big, bold, and beautiful young lady from my platoon. Yes. So the next day, we were paid a visit by the Honorable Sheena Pella. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sheena Pella, but is a politician, like one of the most famous politicians in your state, especially because he's young. He's a politician, an entrepreneur, and an industrialist. So he paid us a courtesy visit, and it was nice. We received some gifts from him, but not like gifts for everybody, shall, but like platoon by platoon kind of thing and he gave us some he gave a lecture and um, basically it, it was so fun why is like i can't remember half of what this guy talks about but i know that it was the guy was just vibes and he even gave us a dj for our next social night he brought like a very prominent dj for us although the guy promised us an artist sha but don't worry I'm, I'm going to allow it slide because he couldn't give us an artist but the dj this man brought was you shall try that that dj was on point he made social nights really 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 interesting so well kudos shina pella it was nice having you around god bless you Yeah, so this was when your girl officially became a core <laughs> member. Before, I was just an Ajuwaya, a white fowl, Otondo. <laughs> but this was when we became official core members. And this was a swearing in ceremony, you can tell. Because we are all putting on our official NYC uniforms. Wow, that boy. So this was how chubby you were looking when we just came to camp. Are you serious? By the time we left camp, the fair guy that poor, he, he had become skinny, like camp drained that guy. I didn't even know. Looking at our old pictures, I'm like, wow. So feed your eyes a bit on some yummy pictures. Gentlemen, ladies, core members. Sorry, <laughs> So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you find this video slightly interesting, then you cannot even afford to miss the part two. Because if you feel this one is interesting, then you're not even ready for part two. Like, because it's going to be a bomb. That's like the whole climax of this little entire thing. So you can't afford to miss it, guys. Thank you very much for staying with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. And give this video a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Share with your family, guys. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, come on, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Valero of NYSC. One time, NYSC. One time, say Make we, make we. Our representative for all years, who they pop, who they, 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 who